Royals including Sophie Wessex and Sarah Ferguson have been photographed attending the London Memorial of Lady Elizabeth Shackley today. Lady Elizabeth, who died in November 2020 aged 79, was the cousin of the Queen as well as a close friend. She was best known for organising royal parties, including an event held ahead of the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in April 2011. Today a service of thanksgiving for the life and work of Her Majesty's cousin, who was more widely known in her professional capacity as Lady Elizabeth Anson, was held at St. Margaret's Church, Westminster. Thanks to her prominence in royal circles, numerous high-profile guests were pictured attending the event, including Prince Michael of Kent and Princess Michael of Kent. Lady Gabriella Windsor, Dame Joanna Lumley, Duchess of Gloucester and Princess Alexandra were also spotted at the service. However, Her Majesty was not seen amid ongoing health issues related to her mobility struggles. Lady Shackley was the daughter of Thomas Anson, Viscount Anson, and Anne Bowes Leon, who became Princess Anne of Denmark when she remarried. Born in Windsor Castle in 1941, she served as the Queen's party planner since 1960 and has organised a number of royal soirees, including an event held ahead of the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in April 2011. She died in the early hours of November 1st, with members of her family at her bedside. Her death came just months after the Queen made her a commander of the Royal Victorian Order as a sign of her personal esteem, according to the court circular. In April, the entry in the court circular read, The Lady Elizabeth Shackley has been appointed a commander of the Royal Victorian Order by the Queen today and has received the insignia. As well as family members it includes members of the royal household and senior diplomatic figures. After founding the firm Party Planners in 1960, Lady Elizabeth and went on to arrange events for numerous members of the royal households, as well as the Queen's most high-profile occasions, including her 90th birthday. Awards in the Royal Victorian Order are made by the Queen to people who have served her or the monarchy in a personal way. Lady Elizabeth had previously spoken fondly of her friend, and said a large selections of cakes had been baked by the public for the event and transported to Windsor Castle. She said, the lovely thing about her, nothing goes to waste, so there are all these lovely cakes and when she has a private party, the cakes are there to eat with your coffee, us Scots don't believe in waste. In the same interview in 2016, Lady Elizabeth remembered a discotheque she staged for a teenage Charles and his sister, the Princess Royal, in the 1960s. She described her skepticism over hiring a DJ and said, this man, wanted, to charge me £25 to put on gramophone records. It took me quite a few years to realize it's a great art form. Lady Elizabeth also arranged events for other high-profile clients including Sir Mick Jagger and Bill and Hillary Clinton. Her other notable events include Margaret Thatcher's 70th birthday party, a reception for foreign royals before the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton at the Mandarin Oriental Hyde Park Hotel and Sting's wedding. Lady Elizabeth, who is the sister of late society photographer Patrick Anson, 5th Earl of Lichfield, married Sir Geoffrey Shackley at Westminster Abbey in July 1972. Guests included the Queen, the Queen Mother and Princess Beatrix of the Netherlands, while Princess Anne served as a bridesmaid. Sir Geoffrey and Lady Elizabeth had one daughter, Lady Fiona, before divorcing in 2009. She has been praised for her discreet approach to handling her cousin's social occasions through her company, Party Planners. However, in a rare interview with Tatler magazine in 2012 she offered some insight into the Queen's tastes. She said, for years it was believed that the Queen loved only yellow freesia, they appeared on every table decoration. Until I offered her an alternative and we discovered that she loved all sorts of blooms, from peonies to white roses. She added, the Queen is the most meticulous host, she checks every dining room setting, every flower, every guest bedroom and always chooses her own menu. We could all learn something from that.